Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna be solving lead code 371, sum of two integers. It's a medium problem, and to be honest, it's, it's not that difficult, but it's just if you know the tricks, it's it becomes super easy. So you're just saying, given two decimal numbers A and B, we wanna add them up without using the plus or the minus sign. And I say decimal on problems, because when you say problem like this, you wanna think binary, okay? You wanna, you wanna think bitwise manipulation, bitwise addition, something like that. But before we go the bit wise way, okay, it says sum them up without using the sign. So, so we can use the cheat code, okay? We can literally just say return, okay, sum, okay. Keep in mind the sum function provided by Python, uh, as always, we like to use Python 3. It needs a, an iterable item. So, we're just gonna put A and B inside a list, okay? And we're just gonna submit this. I believe this works, um, I think so. So yeah, it works, it's super fast, 78 and 43 in terms of memory, 43%, but, which is pretty good, but this is obviously not what you're asking for. This question cannot be this straightforward. Although it, it, it fulfills the description they, they requested, right? I added them without using the plus sign or the minus sign, okay? I just used the iterable pro pro property, okay? But it's not what you're asking for, obviously. It, it can't be this straightforward, okay? So when you see a problem like this, like I said earlier, think of bitwise manipulation. And, and to do this, that's a trick. The trick is to only need two variables to do this, okay? So first I'm gonna create a while loop. And I'll explain on white paper later to show you guys what's going on. So I'll say while B, okay? While B has a value, while B is not zero, okay? Do this. I'm gonna create a variable called XOR, okay, XOR. And he's just gonna be the exclusive OR Again, I will explain on paper later for those of us who don't know what exclusive or is. And he's just gonna be XOR, okay? The carrot symbol in Python is, uh, is the XOR. Okay, he's just gonna be the XOR EMB. Okay, I'll create a second variable called carry. And carry is just gonna keep track of, you know, when you add, you have to do a carry bit if, if you have a one plus one, obviously one plus one is two, okay? In binary, that's one zero. So you have to carry, you have to put zero down and carry the one, which we'll see on paper. Carry is just simply, and of a and b left shifted by one you have to end them and left shift by one and we'll do it on paper and see what, what, what's up and then we're going to assign a and b okay a is just going to be our xr and b is going to become our carry okay this is literally a decimal and then once we're done with the while loop once b becomes zero because b is going to keep being our carry and our carry is being left shifted so there's going to come a time where he's just zero because we've left shifted so much that is just zero and once we're zero we're going to break out of the while loop we just want to return a okay this is the right solution however this should give us an error and i'll tell you why it gives us an error but this is the right solution don't trip it's the right solution okay good it gives us a timeout error why because python doesn't have the concept of negative data types it doesn't have the concept of negative data type so meaning in a situation where we're given one of the numbers to add is negative it fails okay but, but if it's positive okay let, let's just do one so you can see a positive test case if it's two positive numbers this the, the solution works so for this we need a, a language that has the concept of data type of, of unsigned data types so let's switch to c a c plus plus let's just switch to c okay so again keep in mind that programming is just a tool okay a tool like languages don't matter okay it's just a tool you want to find the right tool for the job it's kind of like if you come to my house and i get and i'm going to serve you some food but you don't know what food it is say say i'm going to serve you donuts do you want to eat donuts with a fork do you want to eat donuts with chopsticks or do you want to eat it with your hand so so think of the task was to eat whatever food i brought to you but the tool you're going to use depends on the food so it's kind of like programming the tool the, the language you use depends on the problem you're trying to solve in this case i, I think c is better okay so let's go the same um the same so we're going to define our two variables okay and which is xr and oh, <laughs> xr carry Okay, these are our two variables. Okay, define that as, as integers. Don't forget your semicolons at the end. Everything else is the same. Okay, with Python, we didn't have to define variables because it, it, it does dynamic typing. Typing, so, okay. We create a while loop, while b, okay. XOR, XOR is just equal to, again, the same. A, XOR, B. The same carrot symbols, XOR, also in a, oh yeah, let's not forget our semicolon. Okay, so now our carry carry is just going to be equal to the same as what it was before okay a and b 
okay so let's shift it by one okay now the same a oh <laughs> i keep forgetting my mind is stuck on python okay now a is going to be equal to xr and b is going to be equal to carry okay okay now this is exactly the same as a python code but the difference is we have to dynamically type it okay to what we want to do a uint on signed integer 32 okay Let's see okay so this should be correct so let's go ahead and first run code uh, we have a we have an error okay it says get some oh okay I'm tripping okay at the end of this obviously we have to return something right because it's literally an integer you have to return an integer so what are we returning we're returning a okay let's try one more time compile <laughs> I'm tripping you guys semicolon okay accept it yeah let's go ahead and submit it bam <laughs> oh my 100% faster okay see that this is the power of c so 100% faster okay 68 man this is so good this is so freaking good it literally compiled in zero milliseconds but anyways let's go on to the white paper and and kind of explain what's actually going on behind the scenes actually uh, i'll kill this video here we're gonna have a part two where we explain what's actually going on so stay tuned for part two